Hey dear friends, it's Gwen and I am back with another video for you today uh, and it's something a little bit different. Uh, I went on a field trip. Uh, recently we were up uh, on the Sunshine Coast in Queensland and I took the opportunity to go and visit Craft Online. So um, I'm going to share, I was able to grab a little bit of footage in the store. So I'm going to share that with you first. And then I thought I would come back and show you what I bought. So uh, let's go have a little tour around Craft Online. Okay, so here I am outside of the store. Now it is a craft store, not a scrapbooking shop. So it does have a, a quite a few, it caters to a lot of crafts and it isn't, um, yeah, it's not really geared up to the public. They have this showroom area, which is where I'll be recording everything, but it is actually really out of all the things that they have, it's probably only maybe... 10% of all the items that they have. It's good though. You can go in and you can look around and, and just have a have a really good look at some of the supplies. They have a computer there as well. So if you know that they have something in their store online, you can give them a number and then they'll go and get that item for you. Um, I have included, they have a bunch of mixed media stuff. If you're into mixed media, they have oodles of the stuff. Uh, all sorts of paints in every color of the rainbow, really lovely looking paintbrushes. Not that I know that much about that stuff. These I love and I actually have a couple of them. They're the uh, Prima watercolor collections and they're really beautiful. They had a bunch of Tim Holtz bits and bobs. So the metal embellishments and the findings and all those little fun Tim Holtz things. I had a whole wall of those. This was their uh, mink uh, foil uh, colour choices, so they had a, a full shelf of those as well. Lots of colours to choose from and above those, that's where the Tim Holtz uh, things were. And that's his new, he has uh, like a cardstock range, which was interesting. This is the selection they had of the art journals and the mixed media books and the uh, watercolour paper and all of that kind of thing. They were all in this one uh, spot here. And I did like the look of uh, these ones here, Dilusions Creative Journal, really large that one. And the paper was really, it seemed really nice to me. Not that I know a lot about that whole mixed media thing. This, this was amazing. These were all the die sets and stamp sets. And see all the numbers there? So that's how they know where everything is and that co that correlates to the product on the website. But inside, they have all of the, the stamps and the matching, the coordinating dies. If there was one, they were right by it as well. So I really liked that idea, actually, in terms of storage. If you have the space and you had a lot of stamps, that could be a good way to do it. Some more mixed media here are these are the Nouveau Mousses, I think they are. Uh, I just liked the colours. They were all really soft and pastel-like and very shimmery. So I was kind of drawn to those, even though that's not really my thing. And then they had this giant wall of uh, Sizzix dies, so many. Um, a lot of, of them were the the bigs dies, the thick ones that can cut fabric uh, and felt and that kind of thing. But then they also did have quite a few of the smaller ones as well, the thinlet dies. And they had the tools there, the, the um, what do you call the folders, the, the plates that slide in, replacements for those and, and bits and bobs. Some more paints and some embossing powders uh, for use with the heat tool. Now this, this was super cool. I loved this area. This was how they stored all of the collection kits. So the Simple Stories ones, there was Echo Park ones, uh, there was oh, Photo Play were there. I uh, can't think of any others. Uh, but there were a bunch uh, and they all had their numbers that correlates back to the website and they were all sort of stacked together so you could flick through them all and just really have a, a good look at all of the Simple Stories collections that they had um, in stock right now. So I did really enjoy going through those. Um, um, there's a brand reminiscence, haven't heard of those. Uh, they're the Echo Park ones. 
and it went on this wall was quite long it went it on it went on uh, yeah that was my favorite part or one of my favorite parts of the store they had the paper pads all in one section which was really nice just up on the wall that wasn't far from uh, where we just were with the collection packs and of course uh, so much of the Tim Holtz distress so they had the oxides they had the inks they had the doorbells they had they had all of the distress all in one massive big area uh, all the colors it there was a few little gaps but yeah um, there was a lot there uh, and this is all the ink pads so all of the yeah um, pigment inks dye inks and all all of the inks were all here all in pretty rainbow color so I loved that and then that's all the adhesives so quite a few there oh I have to tell you about this room this room was my most favorite part of the whole tour this is the paper room and it is just as as it sounds <laughs> a room full of paper they had a few paper pads not not very many just along sort of one side but then the whole rest of the room is floor to ceiling 12 by 12 individual pattern papers and cardstock and specialty paper and a lot of them were in uh, rainbow order which was very very nice to look at I was like oh imagine this and actually this room there's the pretty rainbow look at that uh, this room is also the only room in the warehouse that's air conditioned so you, I just could imagine myself locking myself in that room and just like gooing and garring over all the beautiful paper for the longest time there was a lot in there that's the uh, little paper pad section that they had just stacked up uh, kind of by brand kind of not even the papers they were sort of by brand collections uh, but it was nice to be able to just buy singles as well if you wanted to you can go in and buy just one piece of cardstock pattern paper just for scale this room is sort of the same size as maybe a regular bedroom maybe a, a large regular bedroom so maybe four meters by four meters maybe bigger actually maybe five by five uh, yeah, and it was floor to ceiling, cardstock, pattern paper. Look at that. And I liked, I especially liked the areas that were um, coordinated like that in like color tones and in like a rainbow. Really, really pretty. You can tell I enjoyed this room because there's a, a fair bit of footage in here. Um, and it was nice and quiet and I was very purposeful about not getting other people in the footage. So I kind of had the room to myself, which was nice. Okay, so we're going to move on out of the paper room and back into sort of like the next section uh, of the showroom. This section's not as well organized uh, in that I think it still has sections, but it wasn't like all the mixed media was in one spot. It was a bit more mixed and matched. This is the album area that they had. There wasn't a lot of albums, but there were some really good ones. And I was like, oh, I like those. I like those. And I believe albums are a little bit tricky to get in Australia at the moment. I did love that shiny, brassy looking one. That one would be lovely for a Christmas album. I think they're the We Are Memory Keepers ones. Don't quote me. I think they were. This is a little section that they had just of, um, and see what I mean, like mixed embellishments. So there were some embellishment packs. There was some other tools right next to it. It was a bit, yeah. Uh, that's a little section of washi tape that they had just in boxes. And you can kind of see that this this part of the showroom was a little less showroomy and a little more warehousey. And you kind of, as you... As you move through the building it kind of flows that way so that then it gets to an area where we don't have access to and you can tell that that was like full warehouse just all about picking orders and getting them shipped out these are pretty hey they are little boxes of sequins um, silhouette uh, vinyl there was a lot of that on offer Maybe one day I'll get brave enough to actually cut some foil or vinyl with my silhouette instead of paper. Uh, we'll see. It was nice to see all of that there though. Actually lots of colours and lots of choices uh, which was fun. And right next to that they had all of the foil quill and We Are Memory Keeper tooly type things. So the uh, foil quill machine, the foil, 
the blade adapters, uh, spare blades, that kind of thing. They also had uh, what I call the fancy washi tape uh, because this washi tape in Australia is about $18, which blows my mind. Um, that was all there. Yeah, lots and lots of vinyl to, to, to look at, which was very interesting for me. And then we ducked back into the front room again, uh, just to give you a couple more shots uh, of that. Even more mixed media, and you'll see here my lovely assistant, Caitlin, that's her hand, uh, just showing me uh, the rest of the collection packs. They did have some sort of featured uh, on this rack here as well. And that finishes up the uh, little tour that I was able to do. These are the areas that I was able to access uh, and take some footage in. So now we'll get to the unboxing. Okay, so I'm back uh, and I would really, really love to show you all the goodies that I picked up while I was at the store. Um, first things first, I want to talk about these dyes. So these are Pink and Main and they are bow dies so they create bows and they're really really pretty and i saw them initially on belinda jane's youtube channel and i messaged her and said i need those bow dies in my life please let me know where you got them and um yep she told me what brand they were and i was able to pick them up at craft online I will in a moment, when once I show you all the other things, I might actually pop these through my new Sizzix fold away machine and I'll cut them out and show you uh, what they look like when they're all made as well. So I'll do that later. Now, I also did get a new bottle of the Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive. So that is my glue of choice nowadays. Uh, and uh, if you wanna see how I came about that, uh, I do have a video actually on my channel that compares the Nouveau to the Scotch Quick Dry. So if you haven't seen that, I'll leave a link here. I also got the day-to-day -day paper clips. Uh, these ones are Maggie and they're just, I just got them because they're pretty and they're gold and they have hearts on them and they're sparkly. So yeah, I've just got those. Um, I actually have nothing else in this collection. I just thought that they were sweet and I know that I'll use them. Now, all of these goodies belong to a collection, so I might leave those aside for just one minute. I did also get, oh, sorry. I did also get some, just some plain cardstock. Well, this has, this is, what brand is this? Um, Simple Stories. So it's Color Vibe Textured Cardstock. This one's called Peony, and it's a plain pink on one side, and then... I hope you can see that the smallest, faintest little uh, spot on the other. And I really love that. It's a really pretty shade of pink. It's a very generic shade of pink. So I know that I will definitely use those. And I also got this one called Holly Jolly. And I got a lot of them. I'm not sure why I got so many of them. I think that's going to match this. I think I was like, oh, it is the same tones is in this so I know that I will use it. And it's, uh, yeah, Holly Jolly, it's a blush. It's interesting though, because this one is also Simple Stories. And this paper's quite smooth compared to this paper. This paper's more reminds me of a Cartabella kind of style of paper. I'm not sure whether it will pick it up on camera, but it's textured It's and it's thick. This is still thick, but it's, yeah, but it's a slightly lighter weight, I feel like saying. Um, and it's smoother. This one does say 2019. Oh, and this one's 2021, so maybe that's the difference. But, yeah, that was it. This was exactly the right shade for uh, the collection that I picked up while I was there. Okay, so I did find while I was in the store this collection by Echo Park. It is called Little Dreamer, and I believe I got all the things. Well, I okay, I got all the things that they had in, in their store. So we might start with the, what they call collection kit. Let's open this up. It's really, really pretty. I love the colors and the tones in this one. I love the um, icons, the rainbows and the unicorns, sweet and sassy. And yeah, I really liked the feel of this collection. So this is the sticker sheet that comes in the collection pack. Um, 
who runs the world girls i just yeah i really love this there is um too uh if you're after a boy version and i use that term loosely um there is a boy version of this called little this one's called little dreamer girl there is a little dreamer boy uh, version but of course you can mix and match them they don't have to be for boys or girls you just choose what you love and go with that for sure uh that's the backing piece so i'll go through this pretty quickly so i think you get two of each so there's like these busier patterns i wasn't super keen on but i love that like that that i'll use that as a background for sure um the butterflies are cute um and there's this cut apart sheet or oh, these are really good for layers as well like you can mount your photos you can fussy cut out these pieces love that one but i think i'll use that side for this a really bright yellow and then what was on the other side oh this is what i wanted the cute little fairies ballerina type elements love those and you know what i love that it is girly but it's not like pink and yellow it's like my my katie quite likes blue and i just thought this blue peach and the darker blue is a really nice really nice combo i really really like it um that one's going to be another background pattern and some cute teacups i think that'll be good for um i need a photo for like a photo mat because it's just gonna you're just gonna see like the colors you won't really as a photo mat it won't read as teacups it'll just read as like a pretty print but yeah i love that as a background there's this blue as well. There's a few, um, quite a few little crosses and icons, like geometric icons in this one. So I like that, like that navy blue. But then there's these cut aparts as well. I like this, you are magic, be brave. There's that little ballerina again. Sweet little girl. Rainbow, sunshine and unicorns. Yes. Yeah, so that's super fun. This fun green and this one though, that's what I'll probably end up using um for this pattern paper really sweet little floral and then next we have this one which is a deeper kind of peach and then all these little um sentiments and icons that you can cut out best friends be beautiful yeah, I think I might end up fussy cutting out the rainbows with this one. Oh, we'll see. I quite like that dark, that dark colour as a border. See, that looks quite cute like that as a border. We shall see. We shall see. Uh, some cute little hearts. So lots and lots of different pattern papers, hey. So it must be one of each. It's only one of each, but lots of different designs. There's that beautiful um, message again that you can use as a title more fussy cutting elements this is even cute i like this as a it'll be really cute like even in a um nursery as a print there's that floral again love that and cute hearts too and interestingly i'm not i'm not always a fan of hearts that are not even that are not symmetrical but these ones i think are okay probably because they're covering up like they're overlapping maybe not sure <laughs> uh blue stripe that's cute uh, but this floral, hello. So I'll have to be fussy cutting out that for sure, I would say. Uh, here's another bolder, darker uh, print. And the sweetest little unicorns jumping over rainbows. How lovely is that? That's so nice. I really love that. That one's going to be a struggle because even though that's a very simple print, that's the kind of, that's like my bread and butter print. I could use that on anything in 10 years time. I love prints like that. Um, so we'll see. That one's going to be a struggle because I like that one too so much. A little gingham and some more cards. They do include a lot of fussy cut elements actually in these collections. Follow your dream. That's cute. Yeah, I like that yeah yeah I'm not sure about that i think that would be nice with the darker one we'll see. we'll see and then a dark star um with beautiful rainbows on the back aren't they sweet they are so sweet that's got me a little bit though is that crooked is that printed crooked oh dear is that printed crooked or is it meant to be like that 
Oh no, that's straight. Oh yeah, they're straight. I think this one was throwing me because yeah, it's all right. Calm your farm, Gwen. Very cute. Love that. Love that. Love that. So I don't know how many that how many patterns was that? What does it say? Uh, I don't think it says. Kit can take 12, 12, 12 by 12 double-sided papers. So you get 12 different designs, two sides each design. So that's quite a lot of prints. Um, and because there were quite a few smaller prints and I was concerned about it being a bit busy when I mixed and matched the prints, I did also pick up the little Dreamer Coordinating Solids paperback. So I'll have a super quick look through this. So this is 12 again, six. So this is six coordinating uh, pattern, pattern papers. Well, they're papers, but there's no pattern on them. And yeah, I'll flip through these really, really quickly because you don't need to, oh, there's two of those. Oh, I see. So there's two, two of each. So there's the warms. Oh, there's the warms, like a, a peach, a pale blush. And then a, a even darker ready orangey and then there's these navy a middle blue and a green so we will see i quite like the navy that was definitely and they're definitely katie's colors so we may end up going with something oh sorry i hope i didn't hit you i hit you then sorry um i think we'll go with something like that for those so that's those and then i also got quite a few they had quite a few of the embellishment packs and things that coordinate with the collection uh in store as well so there's these which are the chipboard accents and they have the icons on them like the little unicorn um, i love this magic title and that cute little ballerina fairy little girl cute little banner pieces and then um yeah some just some little florals and it's just sweet I like those and the butterflies, super cute, super cute. And then this is uh, the chipboard phrases. So more banner pieces and I will probably try and use all of those on one layout to make one banner to sort of make it extend. I have found in the past when there's only two or three or four pieces that I kind of struggle to use them. So I think I might just set a goal to create a page and use those all up on one page. We'll see how that goes. Um, but I did like these cute little sentiments. Um, you make me happy when skies are grey, pretty princess. I thought, thought it'd be fun for um, those photos of Katie that I haven't scrapped yet when she was a bit younger. Um, yeah, and I, I really like a sweet kind of collection. And I like that this was girly, but it had quite a bit of blues and greens in it for a change. I liked that about it. Um, yep, so that's those. I also got the frames and tags. I'll go super fast. Um, so there's a bunch of... Oh, where's that? oh, I hope that's not too shiny. Do we need a bowl? I'll get a bowl. Okay, so yeah, so make believe, magical moments. These are just really good layering pieces. You are amazing, sweet girl. Tags. Uh, wonderful day, sweet little girl. I might. That's a bit busy for me. I might fussy cut that one out. Born to be magical. Yeah, so just, um, yeah, really sweet. I'll just go through them really quick. Really sweet little sentiments. Best friends, I like that. I like how that's a bit stitched. I like that. More tags. Be beautiful. That's that same sentiment again. Sweet and sassy. Little dreamer. Cute. And these do, some of these do pop out. So they're, even that's really good just for layering up um, in the embellishment clusters. Um, you make me happy when skies are grey, follow your dream. Yeah, so some of the repeated sentiments, um, but lots of things to layer into uh, your clusters. So that's those. Let's leave those over there because, you know me, I like to keep them separate. Um, and then this was the ephemera pack. I get a lot of sentiments and a lot of um, little tab pieces shine bright What's this you are braver than you believe stronger than you seem and smarter than you think play all day sleep all night princess that's cute always choose a sparkle 
I always choose to sparkle and shine brightly. That's cute, my old day. Yeah, that's cute. Love those. Little rainbows, imagination, chase rainbows. Happy. Yeah, again, lots and lots and lots of little elements that I'm going to be able to add. Whoops. Oh, here's a little bit of ballerina girl again. Can you see her? I hope I've popped her in screen. Can't see my screen. Um, little banner pieces, more of those. Little cute little cupcake. Butterfly. Um, more rainbows. That's going to be a bit big. Beautiful girl. Uh, the alphabet again. That's a bit cute. Okay, so that's the ephemera. Now, I also got the, we'll go while we're on these sorts of things. Pop that over there. Ooh. I also got the sticker book. And it's got a stack. A stack. Now, I think there's two sheets in every, two, two of each, like, sheet. These, this is what I got this for really. You know how I love my like little sentiment stickers? Um, and I just liked the print on these. I liked how, again, the colors and I liked how the fonts weren't too busy, weren't too crazy. There's even one that says happy birthday that you could use on a card or to document obviously birthday. These, how cute are these? Happy, magic, dreamer. Best friends. I don't know what yes is. We'll have to think about a clever title for that. I don't think I'm clever enough to think of a title with yes in it. Um, more banners. Lots of those. So I have to think about what to do with those. I do like them though. Um, and then some shaped pieces. So a uh, cute little rainbow clouds, which sort of fit with those. There are uh, quite a few like uh, clouds and rainbows and little jumping unicorns that would work really well together, I think. Um, and then, is that the same? No. I think we're back to the beginning though. Have you seen that one? I don't know. No, they're blurring in together. Maybe not. More banner pieces. So this has a lot of stickers in it, hey? That's like a lot. And they are, um, yeah, there are some elements that are repeated, which is quite cute. Floral piece is nice. Another ballerina. And then is that back? I think that's back to the beginning. So that's a lot of sheets, right? Is that the same? Yes. So how many is that? Oh, quite a few. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. I want to say here too that the quality of these stickers for me is so much nicer than some of the other ones in some of the other sticker books. Like these are really thick pages and they are a proper, they're not a paper uh, sticker. Well, they're paper. What do they say? Die cut cardstock. Yeah, so they are a cardstock sticker, not a paper sticker. So I really like that about them. I love those. Um, okay, next I got the adhesive brads. So these are just your regular uh, brads with some chipboard pieces uh, included as well. Some of those I'm not 100% sure of, like these ones. I think they're a little more older styled, but I do still really like these ones. And I like that they're adhesive brads. They're not the old fashioned um, split pin brads. Um, I also got the enamel dots because why not? Enamel dots, really cute. Uh, I like that there's quite a few smaller ones and not too many big ones. And I did also get the two washi tapes. I got this one, which is that dot that I was talking about being sort of a staple kind of pattern for me. So I do like that. And then I couldn't go past the cute little rainbows. So I did get those as well. So lots and lots and lots in the Little Dreamer collection um, and my cute little bows and some pattern paper, some cardstock and adhesive. So what I quickly might do now is pull out my fold away machine and cut those dies to show you what they look like in 3D and um, then we'll wrap it up. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to, I do, I do have this, uh, my favourite things uh, like polka dot six by six pattern paper pad and I thought it's just got like a bunch of spots and things and I did find this blue so I think we might cut them out on that 
and oh, we'll just oh, sorry, handle first. Um, I did do just recently an unboxing video of this one. Uh, it's a Sizzix Big Shot fold away machine. And I love it because it now fits in my IKEA storage unit and the other one was too long and too wide, it would not fit. So now that this folds away, it fits into that storage unit and I'm very, very happy about it. Um, so we need that one, we need this one for our sandwich. And let's do, I think this is the smaller of the two. Let's do the small, oh, we'll do the big one first. Let's do the big one first. So that's going to go there. Actually, we could probably fit them both on. Let's see, maybe. I think we could. So they come in these four pieces. I actually have, there's a Maggie Holmes bow die that's quite similar similar to this that i have that i use all the time but this one's got an extra added detail oh i was going to show you we'll see how it comes up it comes it will probably come up even more uh visibly if i was using a plain uh cardstock rather than a print but i'm committed so let's try this first okay so have i got enough no Oh, silly me. Hmm. I need I need this one because they're thin. I need this one. Because they're thin dies. I need that extra. There we go. That's better. Sorry, you're shaking as I press you through. Oh, that's firm. Oh, so firm. They're going to be cut. There we go. No second pass required there. Um, let's see. Ooh. Oh, yeah, you can see. So, how good is this? They cut. Can you see that? They cut little um, light stitching, stitched edges around them, around each of the pieces. They're really, really cute. I really love that detail. So, how about we put one together, hey? Okay, so oh, that's a small, I think that's a big, oh, am I missing a piece? Large, 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 I believe, small, 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 and I'm missing a piece, oh, it might be in here, yep. Sometimes I find just dropping these is enough to them out but not that one oh it did yeah uh so that is small yes okay so let's do the big one first so generally you go a little bit of glue here you don't need very much because it's just paper you see if you can see there we go let's join that in the middle let's put that in the middle is that the middle close enough and then this one's going to go on here. Oh, cute. Oh, that's cute. And then this one. I like to add the glue to the front. And kind of get that attached. And then add glue to the back just to get it really, really stuck down because that's going to hold everything in place. Now, this looks a bit long to me. Yeah, I'm going to trim that off because no one will see that. So I'm going to trim that off just a slightly. There we go. See that added detail? I really love that. And I really love the shape of these. I like that they're sort of tapered on the middle part. So you could put them on. I wonder if I've got a tag. Sometimes when you put things on a tag, 
you kind of lose some of what's what's in the center part so i like that see how that's quite wide you could forget that that writing's there see how you can still see the i hope i'm explaining that sometimes when the bow is closer together you can't place anything sort of within within this frame of it but because the bow comes up you can still read so you could put that there and you can still read the text whereas if the bow was to come all the way like more into the center you wouldn't be able to read it anyway that's my thoughts on that um we'll quickly make this one shall we why not they're super cute i actually did see them on belinda's channel i'm sure i saw them like just out of a plain pink cardstock and gee they look striking just that added stitch detail oh you want to stick down eh just that added stitch detail for me. Oh, I forgot the little piece on the bottom. Silly me. Let me add that too. But you could still use it like that. See, how sweet is that? That is darling. I'm all about them bows. Look at that. Oh, cute. How sweet. That is sweet. I love that. Um, so then we'll put a little bit on the front here. Yeah, this one looks a little long too for my liking. Oh, well, that one's a bit better. Maybe I just had that other one a bit tighter than I needed to have it. Was the first time, so probably had it too tight. That can go on now. Oh, look at that. So, so cute. That darling. I just make a bunch of them for my friends. There we go. Oh, I love that so sweet okay so that's everything so i hope you enjoyed my little uh, field trip out to craft online and seeing their showroom and seeing the goodies that i got i'm super keen to get these uh, used on a page so i hope that you will be seeing that very soon on the channel if you're not subscribed already uh, please hit that big red button it will uh, ensure that you don't miss any of the new videos that i have coming up uh, in the next few weeks um and yeah if you're uh, an old friend thank you so much for being here i hope you enjoyed this one and i will see you all next time bye